I got everything to build the Martian 3. Got all the edges painted and everything, so that's going to be the next build is the Martian 3. So I did a little bit of modifications to it. It's going to be a custom build. All prepped and sanded and everything. My modified Martian 3. So that it'll be a symmetrical X now. And that bottom battery plate, that ugly looking thing that's generally on it, this, this now sandwiches the arms. You see I got that all painted and cleaned up too. Stainless hardware, make sure it goes all the way up through the lock nut. And those look good. I like the way the frame is now that I modded it out. It's pretty, pretty cool. It was pretty cool to start with. I like it even more now. And just put all the screws through the bottom side. And I can just set the arms over the top of them. easier that way and then all these ones got to be just about the longest ones I have because they got to come all the way through we'll put these nuts on here and tighten this down first so it's kind of snug so after the nuts are on you can get a good measurement to see how long you want these just get them on and snug them down a little bit you can kind of see already that the arms are sitting in a little different position than the stock one and once again, you don't have to do any of this if you don't want to. You can just totally skip this part and do the stock assembly on it the way you want. So there's just fun with this hobby of being able to modify and build things the way that you want to build them. So now if you go around and check this, it's from center of motor hole to center of the motor hole. Where you're going to want to be is at... 155 millimeters all the way around will get you square. It'll be symmetrical if you do that. You could actually make it a squashed X if you wanted to. Just tighten them enough so you can still move them a little bit. And then doing it this way allows you to put your strap between the sandwich part right there too. That's the other big reason I did that. There's plenty of room through there to fit a strap between this what used to be the battery plate and the bottom of the frame there's plenty of room and then I'm gonna have the XT60 come out the back okay now you can go through and get it all set to where you want it since these are all pretty snug but they will move a little still and then once you do that make sure you're checking to see if everything's proportional where all the lines line up so that your arms aren't crooked this is just for this frame being modded out like that. As soon as you get the bottom one done, perfect. Then look at it, make sure your lines all come off nice. And then once it looks all nice and lined up, then you can measure each side. And don't move the back arms because you already got those adjusted. Just move the front arm until you get it exactly where you want it. Right there is perfect. Right there's perfect, and this should be perfect as well. That is really good. So that's where that'll ride. Got that tightened. Check to make sure nothing moved. One fifty five is all the way around. So we're good there. Now we'll get the length on these ones. Pull these back out. All we want to do is have enough room so it can hold the PDB on. You're going to want to have one nut, steel nut. I guess I really don't even need to use Loctite on these because they're going to be double nutted. So these got lock nuts on them, so I'll just leave those, let that fly. And extra hardware. Let's see what this fits like. I don't think I'm going to run an OSD on this one. I'm just going to do 
a really quick build on this one. Oh, nice. Look how tight and beautiful that is. That is going to be awesome. That actually sits almost lower than those outside lock nuts. That's pretty sweet. I really like that. That's exactly how I'm going to have it, too. I'm going to have it so the XT60 comes out the back. This is going to be awesome. So I took the, there's supposed to be another set of standoffs underneath the frame and then come down to the plate, this plate that's supposed to be down here. I took and put it up on the top. I put the outside screws in. I lined everything up where I wanted it. And then I drilled the holes, the inside holes in here through that carbon fiber plate that's not there from original. So I can move it from down here to up here. I cut off the end, the third hole that would be on the inside of the arm. So there's only the two outside holes. And then I ground it at an angle that comes straight out across following the battery strap. So you can feed the battery strap between these two plates now instead of doing it underneath. And there's no bolts or screws, anything on the inside hole. So the battery sits flat on the, on the frame plate, the bottom frame plate. Testing will tell me if this is enough, but when you look at it, it looks like it's more than enough carbon fiber to hold the the arm still. I slotted these holes right here so that I could move the arms out so I could make it into a symmetrical X. You can see how it's a symmetrical X now. I like it that way a lot better. And when you do this you can see there's no room. I used a naked X4RSP and I shoved it, <laughs> you can see it underneath here kind of, holds them by friction. So these stainless screws right here are really long, they come all the way up to here. So I have a problem with the standoffs breaking off on all my quads. I don't know if I just got a cheap set of standoffs or if I fly too hard and crash too hard, which might be the, the deal because I, I try to push it. I don't have a simulator, I just do real life. I crash it, I build it. So, and then the antenna comes out underneath the board and then up to the top. And the other one comes out to the back. I'm just using the 5045 threes, the King Kongs, because I don't have the purple racer stars yet. I will switch them over as soon as I get them. I'm still using the infinity batteries. You can see how mangled up they are right here. <laughs> they're still holding up it's crazy it's been a while and they're still performing almost as good as brand new if not as good as brand new this is the f4 fc and this is just the standard pdb that comes with it there's there's no osd on this so i'll show you some dvr footage because obviously i'm recording with the yi right now so if you have any questions about this one this is a fun one, it's really cheap, the frame, and it's a lot of messing around to get it this way, but it's kind of fun to do. I mean, modding it out to be custom and more personalized. Everything fit really cool, you can see on the back. Yeah, I hot glued a piece of fabric over the beeper, that's why it's like that. But XT60 I had come out the back. And it's super stubby and it's really rigid so you don't even have to hold on to it when you plug and unplug I really like how it came out purple edging 2206 2600 kV fires so we'll take it for a flight here. This is the maiden flight. I haven't flown it yet, so you get to see what it's all about now. Welcome to Open TX.
definitely punch you. Turn back time. 